Hi, I am Mercy. I have 13 years of teaching experience. Teaching is my passion. My qualification is MA BA. Apart from teaching, I take up various church activities such as singing, telling Bible stories. I have acquainted myself to the latest technology in using digital boards in the classroom as well as graphic calculators. Before going to the topic, I would like to ask you some questions. Are you all ready? Very good. Which is the most essential component for our survival apart from food and air? Yes? Yes? Very good. It's the right answer. Water. What are the various sources of water? Yes? Rivers, lakes, oceans, ponds. Excellent. Apart from these sources, which is the most important source of water? Yes, anybody in the class? Very good. It's rain. Yes. So let us learn about how does rain occur. Yes. There were two siblings. My names Winnie and Tina. They were playing in a park. Suddenly, it started raining. Winnie rushed to Tina and said, Sister, it's raining. Shall we go back home? Sister said, No, no. Let us stop the rain. Sister, can we stop the rain? Let's try our best. Let us sing this rhyme. Rain, rain, go away. Come again another day. We would like to play. Hey sister, look at the sky. It stopped raining. Wow, you are really great. Sister, I wonder, how does it rain? How does rain occur? Is it so? Because the sky takes shower? No bro, not because of it. I too don't know. Let us go and find out from my social science teacher. Shall we go right now, sister? Yes, bro, let's go. So together, they went to Tina's social science teacher. Teacher offered them the seat and said, What is the reason for coming? They said they wanted to know how does it rain. Teacher said, very good. What a good question you have asked. I'll explain you in detail. It rains because of precipitation. Teacher, what is precipitation? Before going to this term, before knowing about precipitation, we should first learn what is a water cycle. Yes. Water cycle, it is the process by which water changes its form and continuously circulates between oceans, air and land. So this process is known as water cycle. Water cycle involves three processes. They are 
evaporation condensation and precipitation yes so what are the three processes involved in water cycle yes very good let us all applaud for him to understand the process of evaporation here is a small activity are you all ready fine take a jar of water and mark the level of water place it under the sun after four hours you will notice that the water level in the jar has reduced this is because of the heat of the sun the same way water in oceans rivers lakes etc when heated due to the heat of the sun changes its form from liquid to gaseous form and hot air it expands and goes up so this process is known as evaporation yes have you understood can anyone tell me what is evaporation yes the process by which water changes from liquid to gaseous form is known as evaporation that's all for today children i'll continue the lesson tomorrow bye bye